Hello, dear students. Today we are going to talk about future. Open your books at page 44. Will be going to. Let's remember the rules. Future simple. We use the future simple to make on-the-spot decisions. Time expressions tomorrow, next Saturday, next week, month, year, the day after tomorrow, soon, in a week, month, year, and etc. It's very hot. I'll go and have a swim. We use the future simple to make predictions based on what we think or believe will happen in the future, usually with verbs hope, believe, think, imagine, expect, and etc. With the expressions I am sure, I am afraid, etc. With the adverbs probably, perhaps. Scientists believe loggerhead turtles will increase in numbers in the next few years. We use the future symbol for promises, threats, warnings, hopes and offers. These volunteers promise they will do their best to collect money for the environmental program. For actions and events which will definitely happen in the future and which we cannot control. My grandmother will be 60 tomorrow. We use be going to talk about plans and intentions in the near future. Time expressions are tomorrow, next this week, month, year, in a little while, the day after tomorrow, in two, three years, next week, month, year, tonight, soon, in a week, in a month, and etc. I am going to visit my cousin in London tonight. To make predictions based on what we see or know. Look at the man. He's going to slip on the wet floor. In exercise 1, we are to match the sentence to what they express. Sentence 1. Look at the player. He is going to score a goal. It's a prediction based on what we see. The second. I'm going to join the school's sport club this year. It's a future plan. Sentence 3. I think they will win. A prediction based on what we think believe. And the last is I'm sure you'll lose those two pounds. Certainty. In exercise 2, you are to complete the sentence with will or be going to and the verbs in brackets. Look at the models. Watch out, Nulan is going to kick the ball. To be going is used as a prediction based on what we see. Aidar believes that his brother will become an Olympic swimmer when he grows up. Future symbol is used as a prediction based on what he believes. You are to finish this exercise yourselves. Exercise 3. Dania has decided to live a healthy life. What has she decided to do? You are to ask questions and answer them as in the example. Listen. Do you think she will eat a balanced diet? Yes, I think she will. Is she going to eat junk food every two weeks? No, she isn't. Is she going to exercise regularly? Yes, she is. Do you think she will drink fizzy drinks? No, she won't. Is she going to drink eight glasses of water a day? Yes, she is. Now let's remember the usage of present continuous for future meaning. Look at the rules. We use the present continuous for actions happening at or around the time of speaking. The marine biologist is taking photos of an octopus at the moment. We use the present continuous for future arrangements. They are going on holiday to Hawaii and are arriving there tomorrow. In exercise 4, you are to define which sentences describe. A fixed arrangement in the near future, an action happening now. 
Connaught is taking part in the final this weekend. It's a fixed arrangement in the near future. We are having a Zumba class now. It's an action happening now. We are watching the rugby game on TV this weekend. It's a fixed arrangement in the near future. Gunnara is exercising at the gym now. It's an action happening now. Aybek is entering the badminton competition this summer. It's a fixed arrangement in the near future. Exercise 5. You are to complete the sentences. Listen to the models. I think I'll have an early night tonight. This summer, I'm going to go on holiday with my friends. In 10 years, I'll have a family of my own. Tonight, I'm going to go to the cinema. Next Friday, I'm going to go to a party with my friends. You are to write down this exercise in your copybooks.